Bonjour, welcome to French Diaries. In this session, we are going to discuss French relative pronouns. French relative pronouns. So, let's get started. So, mostly we'll discuss three relative pronouns only, which is qui, que and ou. First one, qui. Qui means who, that and which. But there is a question, why we are using these relative pronouns or what's the need of using these relative pronouns. So these relative pronouns are making the sentence crisp and short or it helps us to reduce the redundancy in the sentence. Right. And which we will discuss during the session. So first one is key. Key means who, that and which. So here key we are talking about the relative pronouns only. A relative pronoun only. Right. Who, that and which. It depends how and where we are using this. So there are some conditions to using the key relative pronoun which are this is the subject of the clause. So key will be the subject of the clause. So we are using relative pronoun to connect two clauses. Right to connect two clauses. So it will be the subject of the dependent clause. The second clause. It refers to people or things. So we can use it for people as well as for things. It precedes conjugated verb. So we need to add it before conjugated verbs. Let's discuss it with the help of examples. First, Zé a nami. I have a friend. Il abit a pahi. He lives in Paris. So there are two sentences. As we have discussed that these uh, relative pronouns are connecting two sentences or they are making the sentence short. So, je anami il abit a pahi. I have a friend, he lives in Paris. There are two sentences. Now, let's make it one. Je anami ki abit a pahi. I have a friend who lives in Paris. Who? Je nami ki abit a pahi. So we made one sentence out of two. Correct? So this one is relative pronoun. Il a un chat. He has a cat. Il est très mignon. It is very cute. Let's make it one. Il a un chat. Qui est très mignon. He has a cat which is very cute. Il a un chat qui est très mignon. So we have connected two sentences with the help of qui, which is a relative pronoun. One more example. Nous avons une voiture. We have a car. Elle est rouge. It is red. Let's make it one. Nous avons une voiture qui est rouge. We have a car which is red. Nous avons une voiture qui est rouge. We have a car which is red. I hope qui is clear. Or you can say that is red. That is also same. Right? Qui is clear. Now let's move to the second one which is que. Second relative pronoun. Ka means who, whom, that and which. There are some conditions for using ka. First, direct object of the clause. Ki was the subject of the clause. This is the direct object of the dependent clause, right? Second clause. It refers to people and things. This is same like ki. It refers to people or things. It follows subject plus verb construction. Right? 
so after that we need to use subject and verb which we will discuss you uh here in the previous sentence because we have discussed that this is the subject of the clause so see here j anami here subject is this here subject is key so this is the subject of the clause refer to people or things thing and this one is people uh oh, this one is animal also then proceed with the conjugated verb conjugated verb this one this one this one so all are three conditions fulfilled in these examples same thing will be here for example voici un livre voici here is a book q la achete achete you bought it here is a book and second sentence is you bought it so let's make it one voici un livre qui tu a acheté has a book which you bought so let's see whether it's fulfilling our conditions or not this is a direct object of the clause so here this is the subject this is the object of the clause then it could be the, it could refer to people and things so here book is a thing follows subject and verb this is subject this is the verb so followed by right followed by subject and verb so all the three conditions are being fulfilled here let's discuss one more example je un cadeau what is cadeau gift i have a gift je reçu hier i received yesterday let's make it one je un cadeau qui je reçu hier i have a gift which i have received yesterday je un cadeau que je reçu hier object subject and verb and this one is also verb clear okay let's move to one more example l a yun ami she has a friend nu zamo ghon kont ke sath ami ghon kont ke is to meet we have met that friend let's use the verb pronoun l a yun ami ki uh, sorry ka nu zamo ghon kont ke she has a friend whom we met whom we met l a yunami ka no zamo ghon kont ke so this is a person ka is followed by subject and verb correct which is our condition here clear so let's move to u where usually we use it as a where or it could mean uh which when in or on as a relative pronoun there is a condition it indicates a place or time so who is not only where but it could also indicate place or time or it could be as a which when in and on let's discuss with the help of examples say la ville it's a city just we ne dans cette ville i was born in this city say la ville just we ne dans cette ville let's make it one with help of relative pronoun say la ville o jaswine this is the city where i was born place say la ville o jaswine 
clear another example voilà la maison one sentence nous avons grandi dans cette maison there is a house we have uh, we uh, we have grown up in this house let's make it one sentence with the help of relative pronoun voilà la maison où nous avons grandi there is a house there is the house where we were grown voilà la maison où nous avons grandi clear relative pronoun l'année last year il a gagné la qui cette année this one is separate this one is separate l'année last year il a gagné la qui cette année he has uh, he won the prize this year let's make it one l'année last year où il a gagné la qui last year where or when he won the prize last year he won the prize lane u il a gagné la ki i hope this is clear one more example john dekhi le momo john is describing the moments il est ago he is happy let's use relative pronoun John dekhi le momo. John is describing the moments when he is happy. John dekhi le momo u ile ago. Ago is happy. I hope this is clear. So, during this session, we have discussed ki, which means who, that, and which. Then we have discussed ka. Second relative pronoun, which is who, whom, that, and which. And in the last, we have discussed who, which means where, which, when, in, and on. I hope all these relative pronouns are clear. And in case you have any queries or questions, you can always write in the comment box. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share French diaries. Thanks for watching. Au revoir.